And if you've already received the J&J &J vaccine, let's talk about that. You might be wondering, what do I do now, if anything? Well, the CDC and the FDA address that very issue for you today. Aaron Jones, at the same time, talked to some local health care providers about what they plan to do. So we had several people on the books. In the last few weeks, Dr. Charles Powell's team has administered more than 250 Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccines with no issues. With the J&J &J vaccine, uh, we're required to report any incidents or any side effects, and thus far we have not seen any. Several of his patients were scheduled to get the vaccine this week, but this morning the CDC and FDA announced they're pausing its use. Of the 6.8 million Americans who have received the vaccine, six women between the ages of 18 and 48 have experienced a rare and severe type of blood clot, symptoms occurring 6 to 13 days after vaccination. So the initial thought did stimulate some concern. But as we look deeper into it, uh, looking back to a 2016 study published in Stroke, uh, this actual type of clot is just as prevalent, if not more prevalent, in the general population. Fact is, it's still a little bit too early to know. And out of an abundance of caution, we're recommending a pause for people who recently got the vaccine within the last couple of weeks. They should be aware to look for any symptoms. These symptoms include abdominal pain, leg pain, severe headache, and shortness of breath. If you're experiencing any of these, you're asked to contact your health care provider. For people who got the vaccine more than a month ago, the risk of them is very low at this time. The CDC and FDA says they're now giving health care providers time to make benefit risk decisions for their patients. And pausing the program never causes harm. Obviously, we want to get the vaccine out to as many people as quick as we can. But this is a vaccine that a lot of people viewed as rushed to the market. And putting those cautions in there we may not normally is, is, is essential. In Plano, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. The pause announced today will allow the CDC's expert committee to review the situation. That's officially going to start tomorrow when they will consider not only what's happened, but also the next steps.